the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other sides. In other words, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Let's look at why c squared equals a squared plus b squared from a visual perspective. Let's start with a right triangle with the shortest side of the triangle having length a. The second shortest side having length b and the third side, the hypotenuse, having length c. Remember, the hypotenuse, the longest side of a right triangle, is always directly across from the right angle. Let's duplicate this triangle eight times. Below the triangles, we have two squares that are the exact same size. Each side of the squares has length a plus b. So let's slide the first triangle into the bottom left corner of the first square. Let's rotate the second triangle clockwise 90 degrees and then slide the triangle into the top left corner of the first square. Let's rotate the third triangle 180 degrees and then slide it into the top right corner of the first square. The fourth triangle we will rotate clockwise 270 degrees and then slide it into the bottom right corner of the first square. Let's slide the fifth triangle into the bottom left corner of the second square. The sixth triangle we will rotate 180 degrees and then slide the triangle so that the hypotenuse of the sixth triangle is right next to the hypotenuse of the fifth triangle. Next, let's flip the seventh and the eighth triangles. Now let's rotate the seventh triangle clockwise 270 degrees and then slide it into the top right corner of the second square. Now let's rotate the last triangle, the eighth triangle, clockwise 90 degrees and then slide it so that the hypotenuse of the eighth triangle is right next to the hypotenuse of the seventh triangle. So now we have all of our triangles in these two squares. Remember these two squares are the exact same size. And as you can see, each side of the square has length a plus b. Also notice that the four right triangles in the first square take up the same amount of space as the four right triangles in the second square, even though they are placed differently in the two squares. So this leaves us to visually realize that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The Pythagorean theorem c squared equals a squared plus b squared.